the Senza Mayiwa murder trial is expected to resume this morning. Uh, that's sitting in the High Court in Pretoria. Now, the case was postponed earlier this month due to the ill health of defence lawyer Tulani Ngomezulu. And this past Saturday marked exactly 10 years since Senza Mayiwa was shot dead at his then girlfriend Kelly Kumalo's parental home in Fosloras on Gauteng's East Rand. Five men are currently on trial for the soccer star's murder. And for more on the story and uh, what's to be expected in court today, we cross live now to our SABC News reporter, Criselda Lewis. Criselda, good morning. Of course, um, a seminal point in this trial that has been um, marked by delay after delay. But of course, this past weekend, marking 10 years since Senza Mayiwa's passing. So what's happening outside court as we speak? Well, Sakina, as you correctly point out, uh, Saturday had marked the 10th anniversary since the passing of uh, soccer star Senzo Meiwa, and it certainly has been an opening of wounds uh, for the Meiwa family who is still seeking justice 10 years on. Uh, in conversations, uh, Sakina, that we had with the family over the weekend, you certainly do get a sense that this family wants to see this trial come to an end, which you correctly pointed out. Uh, you know, it's been marred by several uh, delays, including the latest one with the ill health of one of the defense lawyers, Tulanim Gomezulu. We're expecting the trial to resume this morning. You recall that the doctor's note that had been um, submitted to the court indicated that uh, doctors had given uh, Tulanim Gomezulu, um, um, you know, a time, uh, you know, to, to heal. And uh, we do understand uh, that he's expected uh, back at court this morning for the resumption, of course, of uh, the trial. You'd recall that uh, the lead investigator, Brigadier Bongani Kininda, is expected back on the stand. What we've heard thus far is that he believed, he said after receiving the docket, he believed uh, that uh, even though there'd been a difference of opinion in terms of the investigators that were on the case, and uh, he says that he does believe that there were intruders uh, inside the house. He says one of the reasons that led him to believe that was the fact that uh, after Senzo Meiwa had been taken to hospital after being shot, uh, the cell phones of all the people that were inside the house at the time that Senzo Meiwa was killed, all the cell phones of those individuals inside the house uh, had pinged at the tower at the hospital where uh, Senzo Meiwa had been taken to. And this phone that was believed to have been taken when these so-called intruders had entered the house, uh, the cell phone belonging to Kelly Kumalo, which is believed to have been stolen, that pinged at a different location, which he says then leads him to believe that there were people inside the house because we, what, what we heard was that uh, these intruders had entered the house and asked for cell phones and money. But as you can see here behind me, there is a banner. And uh, this is a banner that we've become accustomed to from the South African mass movement. And uh, they're also here this morning to mark 10 years since the passing of Senzo Mia. I want to bring in Mzu Etzele, uh, who's from the South African mass movement. You're here this morning, Put Mzu. I guess you're here to mark this uh, 10th anniversary since the passing of the soccer legend. I'm sure... Um, you've been calling for justice, and I think that will be no different this morning. It will be no different, more especially the call must be more emphasized in the light of these mass murders that are happening around the country. This uh, murder case that is still going on after 10 years must not be isolated to what is happening around the country. Had we had the justice system which is bringing the perpetrators to book, we will not be where we are, where we have to have people who are buried in large numbers because of other people. This is because of the law that we have. This law that we have seems to prioritize, not seems prioritize criminals over people who are victims. Here we still nursing the feelings of people who are alleged to have murdered. That cannot be isolated to know that the people who still commit a, a heinous crime are from prison. So the justice system, if we have people who, who really know what is the law, they should be concerned of how come the case take 10 years of murder case of such a high profile. This we use as a, a highlight to say we have a serious problem. And this case that is taken more than 10 years should not be taken as an as a event. It's, it, it's part of what is going on today and it's going to be a part of what is going to happen as long as we don't fix our justice system.
right, uh, Putra Mzu uh, Tele, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Mzu Fele Tele from the South African Mass Movement. Uh, they've been outside court, uh, you know, a number of times, uh, coming to express their frustration, uh, community leaders, about uh, what they say is the slow pace of this particular case. So they're here this morning to mark the 10th anniversary and uh, what they've been saying is that uh, they want to see this trial uh, come to an end, uh, not only for closure for the family, but for many South Africans that uh, wonder, uh, still wonder till today what really happened to Senzo Miyua inside that house. We're expecting proceedings to start at 10 o'clock this morning. Thanks to our reporter, Criselda Lewis, who's in court and uh, she'll be monitoring those proceedings for us.